All right, here we are. This is the lecture where we're going to be installing Django on our computer so then we can create our very first project. So uh, before we go ahead and download anything, I want to show you a website. Go ahead and open up a browser and go to djangoproject.com. This is the official website uh, for the Django project, and there is just a ton of good information here. Uh, you can download from here, although I don't recommend this way. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Uh, but particularly, their tutorial I think is great. If you do get started with Django and you try the tutorial here, just some awesome information. Now, uh, in this course, I'm giving you sort of my custom tutorial with the information that I think is most relevant to you. Uh, I think this tutorial in some places get in, gets into things that aren't really all that necessary and make things more confusing, at least initially. Uh, but this is a very solid tutorial. So I just wanted to let you know that this is out there. If you ever have questions about Django and you want to see its documentation, this is where you can find it. And it might be a cool little bonus project after you've gone through this course if you want to learn more, uh, this is a great place for it. So uh, like I said, don't recommend downloading straight from the website, but rather using something called PIP. And if you're not familiar with PIP, it stands for PIP installs packages or PIP installs Python. It's kind of weird how it references itself in its own name. Uh, but PIP basically allows us to take other people's Python code and bring it into our own project so that we can use it. And so Django can actually be downloaded into our computer uh, as one of these PIP packages. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. So go ahead and open up a terminal uh, on your respective operating system. Now, if you didn't watch the Python refresher and you're on Windows, the way to open up your terminal, which in Windows it's called Command Prompt, is to just hit Command R and then type CMD and hit Enter. You can also just hit CMD down here at your search and it'll open up the same thing, but if you see something like this, you're on the right place. Now, one more note for your Windows users, we need to make sure that we have Python 3 installed. So, for you, you don't have to type Python 3, you usually just have to type Python make sure that you have at least version 3 point something. Whatever it is, that's fine, but at least 3. If you don't have that, go to python.org and install that. You can go back to the Python refresher to get more details on that. But uh, if you're able to type Python, see at least version 3 in your command prompt, you're ready to move forward. And once you're there, uh, pip comes bundled automatically with Python 3, so that's why we had to make sure we had Python 3. We also need it because that's the only version of Python that will work with Django 2. Um, but if you've got Python 3, you've also got pip on your computer. So what we're going to do is install Django, and you can do that by typing out pip3 space install space Django. Now before you go ahead and hit enter here, uh, I'm going to have you download a very specific version of Django, and that's 2.0.2. And the reason for that is that's what I'm going to be teaching with, and feel free if you want to to get the latest ver version of Django. If you want the latest version, you could just hit enter now, and that will go see whatever the latest version is and download that. But uh, just to make sure that everything that I do, you can do as well, uh, I would recommend getting this 2.0.2. .2. So uh, with that all in place, uh, we're going to say this is now equal equal 2.0.2. .2. Now since recording this, a new version of Django has come out. We're currently on version 2.2. So make sure that you have Django equals equals 2.2 point star. Now if you're wondering what this star business is about, it's basically saying, hey, install version 2.2 and then that last additional version, just get whatever the latest is. So with Django, that last version is usually just security and small tiny bug fixes. So if you do 2.2, you'll be sure to get at least that, but then the star there says, hey, get me whatever the latest is and if there's security fixes, I wanna make sure that I have that. So just make sure that you have this small note different from what I'm doing, 2.2.star. Just like that, so pip3 install Django equals equals 2.0.2 .2 and hit enter. So this is going to go assemble all that code. And if you're kind of stressed out, you're like, oh, I didn't get the same version of Django as you, uh, you can always type pip3 uninstall Django with no equal sign after that. Just pip3 uninstall Django and that'll take it off and then you can reinstall it uh, for this specific version. But with all of that, that's all you need to do to install Django. Really, it's that simple. Once you've done this, you are ready to rock and roll. So now that you have Django on your computer, we're gonna be creating our very first Django project. And Django has a great way for us whenever we want to start a new project that simply, essentially creates a new template for us that 
then we can customize however we'd like to. So uh, once you are in the correct place on your computer, you can use something called the Django admin to start a new project. Now you may be wondering, well, what's the right place on your computer? Well, you gotta decide where you wanna save your project. And if you're not really familiar with the terminal, uh, I would recommend doing a little bit of Googling to figure it out. I'll give you some basics here. Uh, this is gonna work specifically for Mac and for Linux, but if you wanna see where you currently at are, are at in your computer, if you type ls, it'll show you all the folders that are there. So for example, you can see I'm in my home directory and I can see stuff like my desktop, my documents, whatever. So let's say I wanna to go to my desktop. I can say cd, which is short for change directory, then type capital desktop. And I can even, after I've typed a few words, if I hit the tab, I can do an autocomplete and it will sort of fill in the rest for me and hit enter. So now you can see I'm on the desktop. And if I type ls, I don't have anything currently on my desktop, but if I ever wanna go backwards, I could say cd space dot dot, and that takes me one direction back. Now, one more quick note for Windows users, your command prompt is essentially the same thing as the terminal, just, just a few differences. To move around in directories, just like we did before, you're gonna use cd for change directory, so I can do cd to my desktop. Uh, I can do cd dot dot, and that's gonna move me back one. Uh, the only big difference I'd say is make sure that instead of typing ls to see something, you'll realize, okay, that's not something here. You just type dir. If you do dir, it's saying, hey, show me what's in the directory, and this shows you all the files and folders that are currently there. But this is, you know, move to the correct place on your computer where you wanna save your project. Uh, for me, I think the desktop is a great place, so I'm gonna go back there. But uh, once you have that, go ahead and type out Django dash admin, okay? So this Django admin allows us to do uh, a lot of different things. If you wanna see that information, you can do Django admin space help, uh, and it's gonna show you all the different cool things uh, that you can do here. But what we wanna do is this start project. This is the essentially the way for us to make a brand new project. So we're gonna say Django admin space start project and then we need to give our project a name. So you can decide whatever this is going to be, but for us, I think we should probably call it word count. Uh, that's essentially what our website's gonna do, right? Is count how many words are in a piece of text. So I'm just gonna put word count. It has to be all one word. You can you know, put dashes between the words if you want to, but I think it's best to just say word count just like this. So once you have that, go ahead and hit enter. And then you can see popped up here on my desktop is a whole new directory. And if we go ahead and open this up, uh, you can basically see what this new project is going to look like. So I think we should go ahead and talk about that in the next lecture. Uh, but if you had any problems with installation or creating this new project, please let me know. Uh, but if not, let's go ahead and move forward.